Here I am to give you my review, demo application, cheek and arm swatches of the new Garland Terracotta blushes, a much anticipated launch for Garland, mostly talking about the luxury world because Garland is one of those brands that they usually do not bombard us with too many launches all at once, although lately we have seen a lot of newness by Garland, one of them being the new lip oils, which I have already reviewed. I'm actually wearing one of them today. I will be leaving as per usual all the details of the products that I'm using today, the details of the blushes, where I have got them. Everything will be on the description box below, along with the links of each of the products for your convenience and easy shopping. Also, Garland just launched their new Terracotta Concealer, which I'm very excited. I will be sharing my review fairly soon, so make sure if you're not subscribed yet, <clears throat> well, I think it's about time. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And if you're on Instagram and TikTok, well, come and follow me there because right there I give you close-up images of each of the products that I'm reviewing, swatches too, and I keep you posted whenever there's a new release, back in stock alert, and all that jazz. Okay, friends. Back to what you came for, the blushes. They come in six different shades. They come with five grams of product. Each, they are made in France. They have a 12 month shelf life this is the unicard and they are infused with honey and argan oil they also claim to have 90 percent of natural derived ingredients in terms of the compact it is the very same as say a garland bronzer but a smaller a bronzer comes with eight grams of product the blush comes with five grams of product now let's go ahead and get it started with cheek and arm swatches starting first with rose clear light pink. The compact comes with a mirror too. And by the way, if you're new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Jacqueline and I do film in natural light with a 4K camera. Let me tell you, first impressions right here, this blush, well, let's see until I try it, but it resembles a lot, at least on the pan, to the finish of, let me reserve that for my final thoughts. But here you have it. This is the shade one as you can tell it's a little bit on the neutral tone there's a swatch I'm gonna build it up just a little so you can see the shade with more intensity oh one rose clair chikuhoro f03 brush and let's go for it Okay, these are no powdery, very silky. Let's see how they look on the cheeks. Okay, they have a, well, at least this shade has more of a natural finish. Okay, that's building it up. By the way, I will be leaving my foundation and foundation match on the description box below too. That way, if you are closer to my skin tone, you can really see the shade. I'm building it up a little bit more. You see, the brush is grabbing the product with easy. It has somewhat of a blurring kind of effect. Gonna go for a little more. And there you have it, 01 Rose Claire. I'm gonna jump on the shade because I just wanna compare them side by side with a tone that has a like undertone, hopefully it makes sense. So this next one is 03 Nude France Deep Nude. That's super pretty too. Now this one is also a rose tone, but more of a warm rose going with a Refer 04 brush, very even, definitely a deeper shade, this is so pretty, very beautiful shade, and as you can tell I don't have any bronzer in purpose because I didn't want to mix the shades of the blushes, with the bronzer. Here it is, deep nude. 
and now side by side light pink 01 deep nude 03 and side by side 02 light coral beautiful I'm going with a rapper 19 brush So good, it does have a true coral tone. Oh, that's beautiful. O2 light coral. O5 deep coral. This is definitely more vibrant. BK Beauty A507 brush, and let's go for it. immediate payoff but do you see how smooth they go and you can definitely build up on the pigmentation but the good thing is that these coral shades they do have somewhat of peach but they are not orange making of them a shade that could work really well for those who have say olive undertones here you have it, 05 Deep Coral. Now let's compare 02 Light Coral to 05 Deep Coral. I went ahead and applied bronzer and then I reapplied this specific shade, which is Light Pink 01. Really in love. In love with all of the shades. Now, what I think about the formulation. First of all, they are extremely silky. When I told you at the beginning, they remind me of to the Gucci blushes in terms of the formulation, the way that they feel, but they are not as luminous as the one from Gucci. They go a little bit more of like a natural borderline matte, but the beautiful thing about these blushes is that they have a blurring effect. I do have a large pores on this area right here and I can pretty much not see them at all. They have that very healthy, subtle, 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 subtle luminosity. I went ahead and applied highlighter here, but nothing here or here. And the cheeks, they look like they have, you know, just a natural, healthy skin-like glow, which is something that I'm seeing more and more often on new products. This beautiful, very natural finish, and the way that they apply, they are so airbrushed. I mean, regardless, you were able to see, I use from Silver Fox and Dye Go Hair to synthetic brushes, right? I use a different variation of brushes and the finish. The finish is just <laughs> so beyond amazing, so good. In fact, I want to touch up a little bit with Deep Nude which is the deepest side, and I want to drape the blush. Look at that. It's, they are gorgeous. They are so gorgeous. If anything, the finish reminds me a lot to the Hermes blushes. Not the first set, but the last set, the ones that they have just a little bit of a sheen. In terms of shade, you may think that this will look like 05 from Gucci, but no, it doesn't. The one from Gucci is more muted than this one. This has more of like a almost berry tone, but not really berry and is more vibrant. That being said, in terms of the actual shades, they are very unique. You may find something closer in your collection, but yet they are very unique in little undertones, things that at the naked eye, you will see like, oh, this looks very similar to this and that, but not really. Also, another formula that they remind me of quite a bit 
are the loose blushes from Givenchy. So between those finishes. Okay, my friends, and this makes it for this video. Like I said, you have my review on the new Takakota Concealer or it will be within a try-on of new makeup releases because I have been shopping a little too much as per usual. Okay, my friends, now I would love to hear from you. Have you tried these new blushes from Garlan? Which shades are the ones that you like the most? I know I didn't cover two of them. I just said, you know, Jacqueline, you don't need to buy every single shade. I need to take a deep breath because I'm gonna be buying all the shades of the new Chanel matte lipsticks and that's expense. I mean, there has been so many releases, so I need to make sure that I'm purchasing the shades, the items that I really want. I know there were a couple very, very deep shades, and I'm sure, I mean, at the end of the game, I most likely will not get so much use out of them. Not to give excuse to myself, but that is to tell you, these blushes, as you were able to see, they are buildable on pigmentation. So I'm sure either the deepest shades that I have swatched today, in addition to the deepest shades offered by Garlan, they will cater for those with deeper complexions. Okay, my friends, let's continue that conversation in the comment section down below while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. It will be incredible. If you can please come and follow me both on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, if it serves you of any help and you want to help me out to grow my channel please give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends and if you're not done watching my content i have good news for you i will be leaving a couple other videos at the end of the screen that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye